study strategy over the years and achieve the spirit of the warrior. Today is a victory over yourself of yesterday. Tomorrow is your victory over lesser men. There is a student mentality in all of us that must be tapped into. A student is resilient. A student is disciplined. It is only through discipline that you will experience the freedom of a warrior. A student never surrenders. See, the strategy is the plan. The strategy, the game plan, the plan of action, the recipe, the how must be studied before the first step is taken. I am convinced that so many of us lose because of what we were not willing to study. We must grow a discipline to deliberately investigate what we are getting ready to enter into. We must be calculated as we enter into new seasons, into new relationships. This is the road to becoming a warrior. An experienced, skilled, and calculated soldier. A fighter, a game changer, somebody who refuses to stay down. This is somebody who is set apart from those who operate in the realm of normalcy. This is somebody who is above and beyond. We got a bit of a work ethic to go after it. A student is a disciple, and a disciple is disciplined. Disciplined to achieve the spirit of the warrior. They are perfectly positioned for victory daily. Discipline is an invitation out of normalcy. A man who studies is a man who is allergic to average. So you are a warrior, and you don't even know it. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. After today, everything is about to change. Because change starts with you. To understand this is to know the difference between men and lions. You must understand that there is more than one path to the top of the mountain. And in this very moment, all you have is all you need. See, somebody lied to you and told you that life is about acquiring more to move forward. And what if I told you that getting to the top of the mountain was not about acquiring more, but about becoming more? That if you can become, then you will find your authentic path to the top. Everybody wants to go to the top, but nobody wants to discover new ways to climb there. Find your authenticity. Discover your identity. We're all told, if you want to get to the top, follow the leader. But that is a broken mentality. Yes, leaders are necessary, but we must be fully aware when we have been called to lead, to blaze our own trail, to discover a new way. It's daunting, it's exhausting to get to the top. But there is more than one way and you will discover that way by not acquiring. So it is not the more that you get, the faster you will go. It is the more you become, the quicker you will elevate. And so getting to the top of the mountain has more to do with becoming than acquiring. What is your mountain? What is your trial? Who is the giant standing in front of you? Name it and defeat it. The climb is just as important as the arrival. The top is the end game, but the process is what will make you.